Hi, I'm Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. We are continuing our building block series. Building blocks are the key components of what it takes to put a successful event together. Tonight's building block is AV. What is AV? AV is the audio visual in your event. Audio is the sound within the event, such as the microphones, the speakers, and the music. Visual is the projections and the screens, the lighting, the staging, all of the moving parts of what it takes to make a visual effect for your event. The reason why sound is so important to your event is so that everyone can hear you. Now that means the speakers from stage, it means hearing the important announcements that you're going to have to make throughout the event, and it also means having music to have engagement and excitement within your event. Now sound can be floor, mic, floor stand uh, speakers, or it could be house sound. Now in my opinion, floor stand speakers are so much better than house sound speakers. It just depends on the venue. So always make sure that you ask the appropriate questions when you're sourcing your event and sourcing your audiovisual team. Sound also means microphones. Now there are many different microphones. There are the handheld microphones that you see, there are lapel microphones, and there's also something called countryman microphones. Now handheld microphones are used for Q&A with your audience. You can have them on mic stands throughout the audience for people to go up to during your event. You can also have mic runners where there are people going around through the event taking the actual microphone to the attendees so that they can engage with your speakers. The handheld microphone is also useful for your MC or when you like to do what I call voice of God. Now, Voice of God is something that you hear announcements over the speaker where you don't see someone on stage. They're saying, five minutes till we start, three minutes till we start, or something like, uh, you know, coffee's out in the hallway, something like that. Handheld microphones are essential so that you can maintain communication throughout the entire event. Now, whoever is doing those announcements are up to you. It could be the MC, it could be you, it could even be your AV tech as long as it's being done so that the attendees know what's going on. Lapel microphones are the lapel old-fashioned ones that you see attached to someone's shirt. Now those are good for most speakers. I don't really like lapel microphones that much, especially for women. As you can see, I've got hair. So if you imagine an old-fashioned lapel microphone that's attached, my hair's gonna move around on it. So you'll hear sometimes when somebody's going like this, you'll hear a shh, 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 kind of a noise. So you, it's good for you to have them because a lot of speakers, that's what they're used to. So make sure that whoever you're using for audiovisual has that as well. The kind I mentioned earlier, countryman microphones, are what I used to call back in the old days, the Madonna microphones. She's the one that started it back then in the 80s. Those are the kind that go over your ear and come through right to your mouth. Now you can have the really big gaudy ones or you can have the flesh colored ones where you barely see it on camera. Most of them are super comfortable. The only time I've ever seen that be an issue is if a speaker has glasses. But if you're working with a professional audio visual person, they know how to attach it to someone and also make sure that it's comfortable and everyone can hear well. Something else you need to keep in mind when it comes to microphones is how many you're going to need throughout the event. Now this is a conversation that you have to have with your audiovisual provider. Find out from them how many do they plan on taking. Most of the time they're going to ask you how many do you want because of course you're going to get charged for the number of microphones that they bring. That's something that you kind of have to think through when you're mapping out your event. It all really depends on a few key factors. Those key factors are how many speakers are gonna be on stage at one given time. What else is gonna be happening during that time? For example, if you've got two or three, maybe you're doing a panel of two to four speakers on stage when they're engaged with the audience who's going to be asking questions. You can't just work with two microphones because you don't wanna spend a couple of hundred dollars more for additional microphones. So please keep that in mind. However, the good news is you don't have to worry about that now. 
You could check with your audiovisual provider a few days out from the event or even when you sign with them and ask them, what's your deadline on when I need to let you know how many particular pieces of equipment do I need to order? Something else to keep in mind when it comes to microphones is if you're going to have an MC. Most MCs like to have a lapel microphone or a countryman microphone on them the entire time. Here's why. If you hire a professional MC, they don't want to take the microphone off because they're watching what's happening with the event. They're in communication with the promoter or the event planner. So if something is happening where they have to hop right on stage because a speaker ended early or they've got to make a quick announcement or it could be a number of things really, they can't be prepared if they don't have their microphone on. So always keep that in mind that if you are hiring a professional MC, find out from them their preference if they want a handheld, a lapel, or a countryman microphone, and make sure it's dedicated to them the entire event. The other part of sound I wanted to talk about is music. Now the importance to music is the energy level, even the theme to your event. Have you ever been to um, a meeting or another event yourself where there was not really a whole lot of music going on? It just made it feel mundane and kind of slow and boring. There was really no connection. Music can make a big difference in an event, especially the kind of music that you play. So think about the kind of genre you want to have, the kind of music you want played. For example, the key components to an event are bringing people back from a break on time. Music is a great way to do that. You can have a certain song that plays every time it's ready for them to come back from a break. Also, some speakers have their own walk-up music that they like to play. It really gets them energized and ready to get on stage and present. You can even have themed music for videos that you want to play. So music plays a really big key component in the sound within your audiovisual. This wraps up part one of audiovisual what and why. Stay tuned for part two. Hey everybody, thanks for visiting my channel and watching my video. I hope you got a lot of great content out of it. Please don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. And if you want to reach out directly to me, here's my email.